Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the lead curl problem, erect the fence. This lead curl problem is marked as hard on lead code. So the underlying algorithm behind this problem is known as Jarvis convexal algorithm. So, so basically the problem is like that. So in a 2D plane you have some trees and your job is to create a fence around those trees so that all the trees are included in that fence and you have to create the fence in such a way that the length of the rope which is required to create that fence is minimum. So in this example we have five trees which are located on the boundary of this, of this fence and basically our job is to return the coordinates of these boundary points. So before starting to look into the details of the algorithm, let's understand that, let's say we have a given point, given three points in plane a, B and C and we have to identify that considering A as the center point, considering A as the, as the reference point is is B or C which of them is on the on the clockwise direction. So basically, let's let's assume these as as the hands of the clock. So we ha we have to identify that. So which of these is in the clockwise direction? So in this case, the C is in the clockwise direction. So to identify that, we will use the cross product formula. Of vectors so basically C would be in the clockwise direction if the cross product of these two vectors is the cross product of vector these two vectors AC and AB would be positive so vector AC cross product with vector a b if this is positive then we can say that c is on the c is more clockwise in the clockwise direction compared to b when a is reference so so a c vector would simply be c AC vector would simply be denoted by sorry CX minus AX and CY minus AY. So these are the X and Y components of AC vector. Similarly, the X and Y components of AB vector would be BX minus AX and BY minus AY. And now the cross product would be the determinant of this matrix, which would be given by CX minus AX into BY minus AY minus BX minus AX into CY minus AY. And if this cross product is greater than zero, then we can say that C is in the clockwise direction compared to B when A is reference. So now the algorithm is quite simple. So we will start with the leftmost point among all the given points. So here the leftmost tree is this. 
whose coordinate is 0 comma 2 so from the leftmost point we will consider all the trees all the remaining trees and we will see that which one is which tree is in the most clockwise direction with respect to the given tree so so we'll compare all these vectors and we will see that which of these is in the most clockwise direction and we will include that edge into our fence so in this case this edge is in the most clockwise direction and we, we will include this tree 1 comma 0 into our answer so now this tree would be our new reference and from this we among all the remaining trees we will see that which of the trees is in most clockwise direction and among the given trees this most clockwise direction would be this tree and hence we would add this edge again we'll continue with this we will find the tree with which is in most clockwise direction and so as we can see that among all the given trees these two trees these three trees are collinear so when we are finding the tree with the most clockwise direction we can either we could either end up with having this tree or either we could ha end up having this tree when when this is reference so if we end up having this tree here if we end up having this tree here then it is fine because in the next iteration we would find this this tree and both of these trees would be included but if we find this tree first so let's say we include we would include this edge we will include this tree here so so from the reference point 4 comma 1 we, we would include the next reference point 2 comma 4 but we would miss this reference point 3 comma 3 because 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 these points are collinear so so whenever we find the next reference point for example when I, for example when we find here 2 comma 4 we will also include all those trees which lies in between the current reference point which is 4 comma 1 and next reference point which is 2 comma 4 so all the all the trees which lie in between these two points we will we will add that to our answer so we'll also add 3 comma 3 to our answer and from 2 comma 4 we'll find the next reference point and when when the next reference point if next reference point is is ne if next reference point is same as starting point which is the leftmost point then our algorithm ends we kind of break so basically we stop and return answer so this is the basic algorithm will which will follow and to find to find the points which are which lies between two points let's say a and b to check whether i lies between a and b or not we will check that so i so x coordinate of i should lie between b and a so either this should be the case or this should be the case so x coordinate should lie between b and a so either this is should be the case or this should be the case 
So this is case one. And similarly, y coordinate ax, bx. Similarly, y coordinate should also lie between a and b of point i. Either this should be the case or or b y plus m equal to a y and r y plus m equals to a. So either and if both the x coordinates of i and y coordinates of i lie between the x and y coordinates of b and a then we can say that i lies between a and b so we have to return here after calculating m and n we have to return that m and n so i hope this algorithm is clear to you now let's see this algorithm in code hi so let's see this algorithm in code so this function is clock function it, it checks that when a is reference point it checks whether c is in clockwise more clockwise direction as compared to b when a is the reference point using cross product formula as we discussed in the video now this is between function checks whether the point i is in between a and b and if point i is in between a and b it returns true so now here is the main function so we are given points n points and we store the size of points array in n and if we have three or less points then we need to include all those points and we simply return the points uh, otherwise we assume that the index of the leftmost point is zero and then we iterate to other points and if we find another point at with index i such so that its x coordinate is less than the current x coordinate we update our index for the leftmost point then so now a is our reference so we initialize our reference with our leftmost index point we enter into the loop we consider we start we consider that we assume that the most clockwise point when a is reference is b and we initialize b with this value uh, in fact you can initialize b with any value you want then we iterate through all the points and we check that if the point i is in more clockwise direction with than point b we update b to be i so we b basically stores the index of the point which is in most clockwise direction with respect to a so after finding b we check all the points which lies between a and b which are basically collinear with a and b and lies between a and b so so if the points if any point lies between a and b if a given point at index i lies between a and b then its cross product this cross product would be zero plus we have to check that it is in between a and b so we have to check the x coordinate and y coordinate of point i lies between a and b which which this function would be returning to us and if it if this would be the case then we would simply also include the point i in our answer ultimately we will push back will include in answer the point b the point which was in the most clockwise direction and we make our new reference a to b b so our new reference is b and if our new reference is the leftmost index is same as the leftmost index which we found it earlier we end our algorithm here we break and we return our answer so i hope this algorithm is clear to you and you like this video please Feel free to uh, share it with your friends. Please comment how did you like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned as more and more good content is coming soon. Bye-bye.